Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. In this video we're going to focus on the different types of chassis. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R620 server. Do us a favor, if you find this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's get rolling. So um, this is going to cover the different types of chassis for the R620, which there are a number of them. As you can see, we have four of them laid out right now. So uh, let's just hop into it. So the differences between the three different stacks here are the uh, form factor. So uh, these two right here are small form factor four base. Uh, this one is an eight base small form factor, and this one is a 10 base small form factor. So those are really the heart of the differences and the difference between the two four bays is one of them has two PCIe slots and one of them has three PCIe slots. The one that has two it's a uh, one low profile and one high profile and the one that has three all three of them are low profile and if you're wondering for the eight and the ten bay they're actually the same and all uh, they all have three low profile for the PCIe slots. Okay so now what we'll do is I'm gonna uh, pop open the lid uh, I'm gonna show you the difference between the other uh, four bay with the two PCIe slots and all the other ones that have three PCIe and then to kind of highlight some of the parts as a whole inside. Let's get going. All right, got my ESD gloves safe to get inside. So we're going to go ahead and pop the latch, make sure it's set to unlock, and lift the top up. So one of the uh, differences I did want to point out is uh, this one right here is an 8 bay. Uh, the 8 bay and the two 4 bays have an optical drive in the front, whereas the 10 bay, by sacrificing... Uh, the, you sacrifice the optical drive to be able to have two extra hard drives. So that's one difference that I did want to point out. Um, and then we're just going to highlight some of the uh, general features. So you have your back plane, you have all your fans, you have your air shroud just to help with airflow and keeping everything cool. You have your 24 dim slots, uh, your two CPU slots you're, with the heat sinks on top. You have your RAID card. This is the H310 we installed. Uh, this is the uh, SAS or the PERC cable going from the back plane to your RAID card. Uh, this is your NIC card, uh, riser 1, which has uh, technically two PCIe slots on it, and then riser 3 with another PCIe slot over here, and then your redundant power supplies, um, and that's kind of the heart of the system as a whole. And so you'll notice riser 1, as I said, has two PCIe slots on it, and then you have the third PCA slot over here. So what we'll do is we'll show you the four bay, which is kind of the oddball one that only has the uh, the two PCIe slots. Uh, so we'll do that right now. All right, so this is the uh, four bay chassis that has the two PCA slots. So we're going to go ahead and pop the latch. Um, this one's going to look a little more barren because we haven't actually built this out. The other one we're building out. Um, but again, Everything for the most part is the same. You have, you know, dual heat sinks, dual prox, uh, power supplies, 24 dim slots, all the same fans. Uh, in this case, there's only four uh, hard drives. Uh, the optical uh, drive uh, slot over here for your RAID, for your NIC. I mean, everything's realistically the same. Uh, dual or redundant power supplies. Uh, the difference really comes back over here is this riser 2 only has one slot and you can even see from the uh, the brackets in the back here the the built-in uh, slots for your PCIe there's only going to be uh, two uh, options for PCIe one low profile one high profile that's the difference um, and the uh, the other four bay so there's t you know two four bay options the other four bay does have um, uh, the same setup as the eight bay that we just showed you and the ten bay has the same setup where basically there's three uh, low profile PCIe's and that's the heart of the difference for the uh, the 620's as a whole and hopefully this was a good overview uh, to just kind of show you all the different components. Alright so I wanted to show you the front and then we'll show you the back. Uh, so on the front um, you will notice that the uh, two four bays and the eight bay options uh, for the most part look the same. Um, they're going to have your VGA port right here so that you can uh, use your monitor. Uh, they're going to have two USB ports. Uh, there's a built-in spot for an optical drive. Uh, two of them have it installed right now. This one doesn't, but you can see that there's the space available for it uh, if you wanted to upgrade it. Um, and then you, of course, have your uh, your power button to just turn it on and off, right? Uh, whereas the 10 bay, you sacrifice a couple of things to get the extra two drives. Uh, so you're not going to have the VGA port. Um, you're not going to have the optical drive um, and you're not going to have the two USB drives but you do have a mini USB and of course still the power button so uh, that's kind of the differences uh, for the front as a whole. 
All right, so we've lined up the backs. The bottom two are the four bays. It's still the eight bay and then the ten bay. Same order we had it in. So you'll notice when we talked about the four bays earlier, here's the uh, PCIe, that's the low profile, and the PCIe, that's the high profile, and there's only two, versus all these others have three low profile PCIe. So I want to start with that since that is one of the main differences on the chassis as a whole. Um, and then you'll uh, just see all the ports back here. So this is from your NIC card that we installed. Um, you have your uh, VGA port, you have two USB ports, you have uh, your uh, serial, and you have your iDrag. So that's kind of the, uh, the heart uh, of the back. Um, and then you'll notice, of course, the two redundant power supplies. Um, but wanted to just give you a quick snapshot of that and snapshot of the insides and just kind of go over the differences. I will note one thing we didn't talk about um, is the 10 bay chassis is actually a little bit longer um, than the other chassis. We had to push it, uh, you know, each way to make it flush, but as a whole, it's a little bit longer. Uh, so when you put it in a rack, it, it still fits just fine into your normal um, 42 you use and so forth, but I uh, did want to point that difference out as well. So anyhow, thanks for stopping by. If you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any upgrades for your R620 or you're looking to custom build any servers, Dell, HPE, uh, Super Micro, Cisco, IBM, you name it, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.